there was a moment when we started having customers looking to run heavy analytics workloads on top of our platforms, and we realized they needed the tools to be able to do this. They were struggling putting together the combination of components required that were available through open source projects in a meaningful way, and that this is something that we could help them with, built on the heritage of what Red Hat's been doing for decades. This is Open Data Hub's origin story continued. How it evolved and what's next. Open Data Hub started with Elasticsearch because we ingested massive amounts of data and it allowed us to do some basic analysis. However, when you want to do more interesting things with your data, you need to pivot it. You need to join it with other things. You need to dissect it and analyze it in all the ways that data scientists love to dive into the data. In order to do that, we had to move the data from a technology like Elasticsearch, which is great for operational information, more into a stage of discovery. How do we discover what's in our data? How do we understand what's, what's really at the heart of some of our business operations? When we wanted to look at ways in which we add SQL on top of it, or be able to design TensorFlow algorithms or PyTorch algorithms, we knew an object storage would be best for that. We also knew that there were other technologies that Red Hat's invested in and that the open source community has adopted as well that were critical to analyzing that amount of data, massive terabytes and petabytes of amounts of data. And so it started with the storage. How do we pick a storage technology that would allow us to scale out to that amount of data? That was Ceph. And then it also teased into how do we ingest the data at a scale that would be conducive to the storage that we needed. And that was Kafka. As we started to layer more on top of it, we took technologies like Spark and like Trino and sat that on top of the Ceph object storage. And now you have a nice ecosystem where data scientists and data analysts can look at all the data in interesting ways. And guess what? The beauty of all of that is we did it entirely on Red Hat infrastructure. So Open Data Hub did become a commercial product for Red Hat in 2021. It was launched as Red Hat OpenShift Data Science at our annual summit conference. Red Hat OpenShift Data Science is not all of Open Data Hub. Open Data Hub represents a broader set of tools. Red Hat OpenShift Data Science is initially targeted at use cases where customers are trying to get a rapid experimentation environment. So they have a data science community who has access to data, but doesn't have a platform to do those experiments. Really getting back to the roots of what Open Data Hub started for, to be able to bring data in, do some analysis and produce some results. And we look at where OpenShift Data Science goes, we don't wanna become stagnant. We wanna keep looking and heading where our customers are heading make sure we can handle their problems um, and do that in an enterprise way and do it in a supported way now that we do have OpenShift Data Science out there. 